Saul was miserable. And in fact, David was miserable too. God was working on both of them at the same time. That's why this story is so crazy to me. Saul, God is working with both of them. Two different people. Opposite. But God is still trying to work for both of them. The only difference between them is one of them allowed God to work in his life. That is what differentiates Saul and David. They both sinned on the outside. They both did wickedness. They both did evil. In fact, David did more. What made him different is that one of them allowed God to work in his life. What does it mean to allow God to work in your life? It means listening to that voice, that conscience, telling you to go to church, telling you to pray, telling you to repent, telling you to confess, telling you to forgive. That is what it means to let God work in your life. But how many of us are just like Saul? I'm not going to forgive that person. They did this to me. You're not letting God work in your life. I'm not going to church. I'm not ready for it. You're not letting God work in your life. I'm not going to pray. I'm not ready for it. You're not letting God work in your life. 